Relations between the European Parliament and the US Congress date back 45 years. Cette rencontre entre membres du Congrès et membres du Parlement européen est euh, la 16e déjà. They are key to maintaining a high-quality transatlantic dialogue on major issues such as trade, climate change or defence. Twice a year, members of the EU delegation for relations with the United States meet with their American counterparts. Relations were strengthened in 1999 with the creation of the TLD, the Transatlantic Legislators' Dialogue, which includes regular meetings and goes far beyond foreign policy or trade issues. It has been very helpful to have these long-standing relationships of trust where we can literally pick up the phone and say, hey, I hear this is happening, what do you think? In many cases, we can solve problems before they become real problems, just because we have these relationships of having spent time understanding each other's issues, each other's points of views. The TLD organizes meetings and video conferences on a regular basis, whereby the two institutions discuss topics of mutual concern, like trade, economic and financial policies, energy, climate change, defense or data protection. The election of Donald Trump in November 2016 triggered a debate over the stability of the US-EU relationship, and negotiations on the TTIP, a trade partnership, were suspended. To answer these concerns, US Vice President Mike Pence reaffirmed that the European Union was his country's best ally. It took us practically a year right now to reassure each other that we still believe that the Russians are problematic for us, the Chinese might not be our friends, the transatlantic relations are important, that we share common values and so on. What's changing is that we have to reassure us about that. In this context, the deep bonds that exist between both parliaments are particularly important. Thank you.